and welcome back. So recently, if you've been following me on Snapchat, you saw that I had posted about someone stealing my phone. So the story behind it was, um, the day before the eclipse happened, me and my mom had went to Walmart around 8, 8.30, and um, I, it was just me, my mom, and Jensen, and I went to go outside to go talk to somebody with Jensen, and I threw my phone in my mom's purse. Well, the thing is, my fault, I didn't look, but it didn't land in my mom's purse. It went on the outside of the little cart, and then I guess it slipped down to the bottom of the cart. And when my mom went to walk out of the doors, apparently it fell, but she didn't hear it. So, about, then we went to like Circle K, we met up with one of my cousins, and then we were sitting there talking to him for a little bit. And I went to go reach for my phone, and I couldn't find my phone. So I looked everywhere for it, and I'm just like, oh my god, we left it at Walmart. So I go back to Walmart, and I go to customer service, and I asked my managers, I was like, hey, has anyone turned in a phone? And they're like, no. And I was like, what the crap? So then we go and look in the buggies, and there's no phone in the buggies. I asked the cart guy, Christian, I was like, hey, I was like, have you seen, have you found a phone? And he's like, no, I haven't, sorry. So, we started calling my phone. I started calling my phone off my mom's phone. Finally, some lady answers my phone. And as soon as she answers, she, she's like, Hi, ah, yes, 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 I have your phone. I found your phone. And I was like, I was like, hi. And she was like, yes, I found your phone right, out, right outside of Walmart. And the first thing I asked her was like, well, why didn't you turn in customer service? And she's like, oh, because we were leaving, blah, blah, blah. This was like... It takes two seconds to go to customer service and turning in a phone. So right then and there, your intention was to steal it. So she, I was like, okay, well, I'm at Walmart now. I said, can you meet me here? And she's like, well, we're already on our way home. She's like, I'm at the Giant at P in Pima. I was like, okay. I said, well, that's five minutes away. I said, I'll be right there. And she's like, okay. So we're going to get, me and my mom are going to get my phone. We drive into the gas station. Fucking nobody there. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, I called my phone again, and it goes straight to voicemail. I'm like, this bitch just stole my phone. I'm like, livid at this point. I go in and ask the cashier, I said, you know, just to see if anyone turned in a phone. I was like, has anyone in here turned in a phone? They're like, no. I was like, I said, okay, well, has anyone recently been in here, like five minutes ago, like a lady? And they're like, uh, we don't know, all this kind of stuff. I'm like, how do you not know? Like... There's nobody here. And, um, so, I, my mom was like, well, go look in the trash can. They might have ditched it. I'm like, my phone better not be in a fucking trash can. I'll be so pissed. So I go and look. Luckily, it wasn't that bad. But I did go look. And no phone. So I'm like, great. So, at this point, I am in tears because of the point I mean, not point, because of the fact that all Jensen's videos were in there because I was going to make a mom vlog about his four, about being a mother at four months and all his videos and stuff, and they're all gone. And all his pictures that I haven't been able to develop yet are in there, and I was just like, are you flipping kidding me? Like, those are my memories of my son. Like, he's my only child. Like, I was so upset, like... I really didn't care about the phone. I just wanted my pictures back and the videos of my son. So I call my cousin, who's a sheriff for the for the county here, and I was like, "What do I do?" And he's like, "Are you kidding me?" He's like, "Someone stole your phone." I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "What?" Do, I said, "What do I need to do?" He's like, "I was like, because my bank information is on that phone, my military information is on that phone." I was like, and then all of Jensen's videos are on that phone. I was like. What do I need to do? He's like, well, you need to report stolen. He's like, since your bank information is on there. And the reason why my bank info is on there is because I have Walmart Pay set up. So if they went to Walmart and they had my phone, they could do it. But the thing is, though, my phone is locked. You have to have my finger, my fingerprint to get in it or my little crazy long code, <laughs> which you'll never figure, they'll never figure it out. And if they could get those in my password, which nobody could ever get my password. It's so random. I'm like, what the fuck? But, um, so 
I was like, well, I'm not going to make a police report right now. I said, let me go post on Facebook on little pages in our area, like the Stafford Buy, Sell, Trade, the Stafford Blast page, the Gila Valley Moms, and all that kind of stuff. So I went and posted on two of the groups that I was in, and um, people were like, oh, that's so horrible. Like, yo, if you're the owner of this, if you have the, this uh, phone, you need to turn it in, all this kind of stuff. And, like, one lady was, like, really legit trying to find my phone for me. Like, she took my uh, post, she took a screenshot, and then she made, like, this big border thing around it. It was, like, missing phone. And then, like, posted on all the other pages for me since I wasn't friends on there. And we had three people who found a phone, but everyone I called, it wasn't it. And I was like, are you kidding me? So, I didn't have a phone for, like, four days. And I was like, I have to have a phone. So, yesterday I went and bought a phone, as some of y'all on Snapchat can see. Uh, I do love this phone. It's a lot better, and it's an upgrade from my last one. I had a Style 3, I mean 2. Now I have I had Style 2 Plus. Now I have a Style 3 LG phone, and I really love this phone. And I know some of you are thinking like, oh, Google Backup, Google Backup. I went on my Google Backup. The last thing that was saved on my Google Backup was when me and Jasmine tried to do my... Uh, pregnancy video featuring Jasmine, but then it didn't work out. So then I made a new one, which is now posted. But that was the last thing saved on my Google uh, backup. And I was like, are you flipping kidding me? So I'm still out there trying to search for that phone just because I want the pictures and my memories back. But if I can't get it back, then lesson learned. So, like I said, this video is about someone stealing my phone. Also, it also had all my YouTube videos that I had just filmed the night before my phone got stolen. So I was really, really, really mad because I worked really hard on those videos. And now I have to redo them. I'm just like, ugh. Like, really? This bitch couldn't steal it another day? Like, after I posted my videos or after I published my son's pictures? Like, this is crazy. Legit crazy. And like our mountain was on fire and I caught video footage of that and it's gone. I'm just like, damn. But lesson learned, always keep your phone on you. If you think it goes in someone's purse, double check. <laughs> and then there are people out there who do not have the integrity to bring your stuff back or to turn it in somewhere. Because every time I, I have lost my phone, Someone has always turned it in, and I was so blessed that someone has always turned it in. I was like, there are really good people in this world. And then I come to flipping Stafford, and people want to steal and do drugs. Wow. But anyway, so that is it for this video. I will still be doing videos now that I have a new phone, and I love this new phone. And I can't wait to see y'all later. So, bye.